Unrest, a 2006 horror movie with a horrible sense of geography. What am I talking about? Well, Aztecs in Brazil, that's all I'm saying. Don't know what I'm talking about, go check out Google. But joking aside, this actually is a pretty scary horror film, at least the first half of it is. So the basic premise here is a fantastic setup. It follows a group of four medical students. It really focuses on the female uh, kind of leader, I guess. And she's constantly telling us how she's an atheist and all of that, but we know that's going to change. Uh, and basically, they're kind of there sort of cutting up cadavers, learning to become doctors and what have you. And this this kind of group of four, you know, there's something wrong with their cadaver. And they feel like there's um, a presence there, essentially. And, you know, that, that there, there may be a bit more to this kind of cadaver which is, you know, at first we just think it's going to be some kind of Jane Doe, but this this particular cadaver has a bit of a backstory, and we kind of see sort of flashbacks in there, you know, telling us a little bit about, you know, what's happened, and essentially it's brought these uh, Aztec ghosts along with it to this particular hospital, and the hospital is such a great place for this kind of uh, this kind of horror film because you know it's it's a it is they do a fantastic job of setting up this place as a real kind of spooky place to be, and the the first half of this movie is so good in sort of setting up this kind of this, the ambiance and the kind of the, this spooky vibe that you'll get through it because if truth be told, there's not a lot of supernatural stuff actually happens on screen, but you won't notice in the first half because it, it works up so well and kind of creates this atmosphere that you simply won't really notice that nothing's actually happening on screen now the the lighting is very good the kind of i think that the, the the setting is fantastic we've got this massive tank full of formaldehyde of these bodies floating around in there the actual bodies themselves are obviously you know props but they do a decent enough job of kind of making them look you know pretty horrible in the, in the in the cast is a well likable and well acted, if a little bit kind of typical Hollywood good looking and all that. But you know what are you going to do? Apparently, one of them is actually Jessica Alba's brother, by the way. Just to see you know. Anyway, and um, unfortunately, this movie comes to the halfway point, and then it all changes. We get this crappy, well distracting music because we find out these these spirits are sort of meant to be Aztec, and uh, we have this kind of like strange music to go along with it. But unfortunately, it really becomes a convoluted mess, and um, there's so many kind of illogical things that start to happen, uh, and, and stuff just doesn't make sense, and it, it, it just becomes confusing. And, and you start to see apparent that then the, the, the things you start picking holes in it, and and you realise that this film doesn't have a lot to it which is a shame because the first half did such a great job now you know without kind of going into any spoilers like i said you won't really see much on screen here and it becomes super cheesy um stupid and and just the, the, the whole premise just kind of falls apart unfortunately there are a couple of cartoony characters. I, I would say the kind of the main Doctor guy, who is a character actor that I've seen in you know, a few times, but you know he comes across just a little bit, bit too cartoony for me. And then she's kind of got this psychologist as well, who seems to somehow turn into some sort of spirit medium. And uh, you know, it, it, unfortunately, it undoes a lot of the good work that was sort of set by this kind of the first half of this movie. I will say this: I watched this movie with a a fellow Geek Legion of Doom presenter who isn't here, but uh, they hated it. They absolutely hated this movie. But I will say this: I actually quite enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed the first half of it. Let me rephrase that. And I would have probably given this movie a pretty high mark had they sort of kept that quality going. But I thought it did a fairly good job. And, and the, 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 the premise here was good, and it was a good side premise. The idea behind it was good, but they left it. And, and unfortunately, all the good work that was built up, all the atmosphere that was kind of built up in that first half of this movie, unfortunately, is out is, is undone. However, I will, I will still give this movie a five out of ten because it at least, it's at least half a good movie there. So, if you've seen Unrest, if you haven't, go let me know what you think if you do see it. And if you have seen it, leave us a comment, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.